NASA says it's time to prioritize the planet Venus. This follows the recent discovery of possible life on the planet. This was a secret locked away in Cold War vaults for decades, only to be revealed now, sending shockwaves through the scientific community. Newly declassified images from Soviet Venus missions have emerged. The Soviet Union wanted to be the first nation to send back a picture from the surface of another planet, and that planet was Venus. And what they reveal is enough to make even Joe Rogan ask, why are we only seeing this now? It seems like we have to figure out why these things are forming. These aren't just ordinary photos. They come from probes launched before most of us were even born. When modern technology enhances these long-forgotten images, what appears on them leaves even hardened experts speechless. The USSR was the only country to conduct regular exploration of Venus using on-planet station. This isn't just about Venus. It's about what might be watching us from a world we once thought was dead. The Forgotten Planet – Why Venus Was Abandoned In the early days of space exploration, Venus was a planet that captivated the Soviet Union's imagination. While the United States focused on Mars, the USSR poured resources into Venus, launching over 30 missions under the Venera program. Their ambition was unmatched, with the goal of conquering one of the solar system's most hostile environments. Between the 1960s and 1980s, they sent multiple probes, pushing the limits of technology and achieving groundbreaking successes. Venera 7 made history as the first spacecraft to transmit data from another planet's surface, though it survived only 23 minutes before succumbing to the extreme heat and pressure. But the Soviet missions didn't stop there. By the late 1980s, the Western world had largely abandoned Venus in favor of Mars, with the U.S. focusing its resources on Viking landers and rover missions. Venus seemed like a dead end, the planet's scorching temperatures, toxic clouds of sulfuric acid, and crushing surface pressure made it clear why. Yet the Soviets didn't let go. Despite economic struggles, they continued their Venus missions longer than anyone else, even launching the Vega 2 probe in 1984. But the question remains, why did they persist? Was it just stubbornness? Or did they know something the rest of the world didn't? The Soviet Union's secret obsession, Venera and the unknown data. The Soviet Union's Venera program was a remarkable pursuit of knowledge, one defined by secrecy and determination. While NASA celebrated its successes with the Apollo missions and Mars exploration, the Soviets remained focused on Venus, a planet deemed inhospitable by most of the world. Their ambition culminated in missions like Venera 7, which became the first to successfully transmit data from Venus's surface in 1970, enduring 23 minutes of the planet's searing heat and immense pressure before it was destroyed. The Venera 9 and 10 missions later sent the first black and white images of Venus, showing jagged, lifeless rocks beneath a toxic sky. However, what the Soviets released to the public was only the tip of the iceberg. Venera 13, one of the final probes in the program, transmitted full-color images, audio recordings from the surface, and chemical analyses of the soil in 1982. Yet much of the data was strangely absent from official reports. Key metadata went missing, images were blurred or cropped, and entire frames were withheld. While the world marveled at the success of the Venera missions, the Soviets carefully curated and withheld key information. Why? What were they trying to hide? The answers may have been buried in the data that never reached the public. The cracks. The strange shapes on the surface. In 2012, a Russian scientist named Leonid Sanfomaliti re-examined the images taken by Venera 13 and made a startling claim. He believed there were signs of movement on the surface of Venus. These weren't just random shifts, but objects that appeared to change position between frames, despite the Venera lander being stationary. Among the anomalies he pointed out was a disc-shaped object that seemed to vanish and reappear across multiple photos. Another was a scorpion-shaped form that appeared to cast a shadow in one direction, only for it to shift to another direction in subsequent frames. Perhaps the most curious was a flap, resembling a mechanical piece that Cassanfomaliti claimed looked like it had shifted position or disappeared altogether. Although Sanfomaliti did not directly declare these shapes to be signs of alien life, he did suggest that they exhibited the features of a living organism. 
The scientific community was divided. Some dismissed the findings as nothing more than imaging errors caused by environmental factors, lens flares, or technical glitches. Others, particularly in UFO and fringe science circles, saw the anomalies as evidence of something far more intriguing. What if these shapes weren't random artifacts, but something far more deliberate? Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The photos they never wanted you to see. In 2023, an unexpected discovery was made in a dusty archive room in Moscow. Long forgotten Soviet photos taken during the Venera missions to Venus. These images, stored in fragile canisters, had never been published in scientific journals, nor were they included in the USSR's official space reports. Among the batch were black and white photos of the Venusian surface, capturing the planet's harsh and rocky terrain under the signature orange haze. However, some of the frames stood out, peculiar, strange, and unsettling. Several of the images were clearly tampered with. Areas were blurred, cropped, or even scratched, with key visual data seemingly erased. Fog-like patterns appeared near the surface, and geometric shapes not consistent with known geological features seemed to emerge. When digital experts ran the photos through modern AI enhancement software, things took an even stranger turn. The enhanced images revealed textures resembling biological filaments, cell-like structures, and ripple patterns that didn't align with geological expectations. Even more surprising were traces of gas emissions visible in the photos, which some scientists now associate with phosphine. Phosphine is produced by microbes, living things. At least on Earth it is. So if phosphine is found on Venus... A chemical often linked to microbial life. Why were these images kept secret for so long? And what do they reveal about Venus? Potentially the first signs of life that we never knew were there. The Phosphine Puzzle A Clue from Earth's Twin For decades, Venus was written off as an uninhabitable wasteland, a planet where life could never survive due to its extreme heat, crushing pressure, and toxic atmosphere. But in 2020, a surprising discovery reignited the debate. Phosphine, a gas typically associated with microbial life, was detected in Venus's upper atmosphere. This detection sent shockwaves through the scientific community, raising the possibility that, against all odds, Venus could harbor life. But the story didn't end there. In 2024, new data confirmed the presence of phosphine in higher concentrations and in deeper layers of Venus's atmosphere. This discovery, based on observations by the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA, in Chile, suggested that Venus may not only have phosphine, but also a stable and abundant supply. On Earth, phosphine is produced by bacteria and other organisms in oxygen-poor environments, making its presence in Venus's toxic clouds a potential sign of life. Now, researchers are revisiting the Soviet Venera images with this new perspective in mind. Some of the enhanced photos from the 1980s show haze patterns and gas emissions from the surface that seem suspiciously similar to the phosphine signature detected more recently. Could the Soviets have discovered signs of life on Venus long before the rest of the world? And if they did, why did they keep it a secret for so long? The shocking reveal, declassified photos, confirm life. The declassification of Soviet Venus photos in 2023 revealed a chilling possibility. Life on Venus may have been captured decades ago. Reprocessed with modern AI enhancement, the images from Venera 13 in 1982 revealed strange hexagonal patterns etched into the surface, something far more organized than typical geological formations. When these images were cross-referenced with Venera's infrared telemetry, a spike in localized radiation absorption matched the signature of phosphine a gas often associated with microbial life. This discovery suggests that not only might Venus support life, but it may be thriving in ways we previously thought impossible. Even more unsettling was an internal Soviet memo from 1983, which advised that these photos be withheld due to inconsistent surface geometry. The decision to bury this data raises significant questions about what the Soviets discovered and why they chose to keep it from the world. Could this be the first concrete evidence of life on Venus? And if so, why was it suppressed? The implications of this discovery are far-reaching and demand urgent investigation. 
Why Scientists Are Panicking The discovery that Venus may harbor life has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, but the response has been one of panic rather than excitement. Venus, long regarded as an inhospitable planet, was dismissed as a scientific dead end due to its extreme conditions. The possibility that life could survive there challenges everything we thought we knew about what is necessary for life to thrive. The panic deepens with the realization that this evidence was hidden for decades by the Soviets, sparking fears about what else might have been suppressed or overlooked in other space missions. If the signs of life on Venus were missed, what else have we failed to recognize on other planets or moons? This discovery forces scientists to reconsider not just Venus, but the broader implications for astrobiology. It opens up a new chapter in our search for life beyond Earth, one that challenges old assumptions and demands fresh exploration. As we face the staggering implications of these declassified images from Venus, one truth becomes undeniable. The mysteries of our solar system are far from solved. What was once dismissed as a lifeless hellscape may now be seen as a living world, holding secrets that could change everything we know about life beyond Earth. The fact that this evidence was hidden for so long only deepens the mystery. We now stand at the threshold of a new era in space exploration, and the questions raised by Venus may just be the beginning of an even greater cosmic revelation. The search for answers is just getting started.